Hey guys, I'm back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at a leaked treasure track coming to Prodigy, so let's get into the video. Alright, so the next treasure track has some new leaks for us to look at, so let's go ahead and look at those. Alright, so here is the first leak. This is a mount, and it is mount 16. It's just a mushroom. I'm pretty sure it should just look a lot like the coin mount, but as a mushroom. Then it has a very simple spine, just the mushroom, and then a shadow. The next mount that is going to be added, this one probably will be um, epic or legendary, um, but it's like a uh, sky boat, or like, I don't know, a sky ship. I don't really know what they're called. And then we also have the spine for that. That is just this, just the balloon, and then the like base of the ship and the shadow. Next up, a couple of buddies did get updated, meaning that we should see these in the next treasure track. And the ones that were updated are the flower turtle and the, um, I can't remember what it's called right now, but we will go ahead and look at it in a second. So the flower turtle's uh, spine got updated. It looks like this now. And then its icon got updated, meaning that we should see these in the next treasure track. They do fit the theme of what the treasure track should be. We'll get into that a little later. But it is the one, yeah, here it is, Robot Robota Monster. Got updated to look like this now. I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, those two pets were updated. Our buddies were updated. We also did get two pets that were updated. The first one that we are going to be looking at is... So, Lumi Bolt has been updated to a... or I guess, rasterized. Um, its icon got changed, and then we can go ahead and look. Here is its new spine. Looks pretty simu similar, just rasterized. And then the other pet that was updated was Muxter, and this one is actually a lot more important because we should be getting some sort of variant or possibly an evolution to it. So here we have um, a leaked pet. This is pet 250. I'm not 100% sure if this will be some sort of evolution change chain for Muxter or if it's going to be a variant. Either way, this looks very cool. And then there is another evolution. Well, first here it's its spine. And then here is the other pet. This one looks a lot like a gopher. Um, both of these look a lot like Muxter. And then here is the spine for the second pet. It looks like it's going to have a very big tail, if that is a tail. And then we have some other leaks, um, pets that are going to be coming. So this, I think, is supposed to be in the Dreamlet family. Um, it could be a variant. I'm not 100% sure on this one either. Um, so here is its spine. It kind of just looks a lot like uh, Dreamlet. And then there is also another evolution. This one looks more like a dinosaur. Um, if this was to be an evolution chain, or an evolution chain, I think that this one would probably be like the original, Dreamlit would be the second, and then this one would probably be the third, but I'm not 100% sure if they're gonna be an evolution chain or a uh, variant. So here is the spine for that second pet. These should not be coming in the treasure track. Um, this is supposed to be for the February 2025 teacher gift, so we're actually getting a good teacher gift for once in a while. I mean, this month's one is pretty good. And then here is the Wizard Watch post for that uh, teacher gift. So next up, we have some uh, pet gear to look at for the treasure track. So this first one is just like a stem. This next one is a rusty screw with some moss on it. This one doesn't really fit the theme, but this is like just a sand bucket. Then we have this mushroom one. This one does fit the theme. This one I think is very cool. This is like a hat with uh, gears on, on it. Um, so far I've shown only pet hats. There are more pet relics that we're going to be looking at. 
This is another pet hat. I really like this one. This does also fit the theme. Then we have some vines. And then this one, which I assume is going to be legendary based on what it looks like. It's probably the most detailed out of all of them. And moving on to pet relics. The first one we have is um, a dragonfly. We have this ninja star one. I'm not really sure what this one is. There's nothing about these in the metadata, so uh, I don't know what they're supposed to be called or anything. I don't really know what this one is. Then we got this orange leaf. This one that is sort of like a snow globe, I think. Um, we have this one that's a uh, blue and red leaf. And we have this green leaf. And we have this delightful bulb. This one does make me hopeful that we could possibly be getting a leaked pet in this one, or a leaked buddy in this one. I do think that the relic looks a lot like this follower or buddy, which means that hopefully we could be getting this buddy in the treasure track. The next pet relic is um, like this stemming seed. Then we got like an evergreen tree, I think it's called. And then we have this one, which I'm hoping is legendary. It does look like it matches up with this one pretty well, but we haven't had any legendary pet relics yet, so I'm not really sure, or besides for Cronus, which is unobtainable. Um, we haven't had any other ones, so I'm not really hopeful that this could be a legendary one. And then we are getting into some of the more interesting leaks. Um, this is called About SG February March. So the um, treasure track is going to be called Skywatch Garden, I believe. We'll look at that a little later just to make sure. So in this image, we have Big Hex right here, so we should probably be expecting Big Hex. Um, we have the Flower Turtle, as I had showed, or I had said would be in it. Um, maybe we'll be getting some tomato throwables or something that we that's already in the game. And then we have the Hot Air Balloon Buddy up here, so we should be getting that again. And we have this. This says Frozen Fairy Tale, meaning that they haven't updated it yet. It should say, like, Skywatch Garden or something. Um, not really much added into this image from what our last image showed. Then we have this one. This is going to be, like, behind the rewards. And then here is the loading screen. Yeah, home screen background. So... Um, we can see that the Robota Monster is over here. Not much other stuff that we can learn from looking at this image. But, yeah, here is the Wizard Watch post for the, um, treasure track. Now, I think this treasure track is a little interesting because normally Prodigy goes off of a theme of an update, or they have been doing that for, like, the past three updates. First, they did the Dragon Isle treasure track, then they did the sort of Pumpkin Fest treasure track, and then they did the current Winter Fest treasure track. So maybe we will be seeing the uh, redesign for Skywatch, like how we have Firefly Force. Maybe we will be seeing the redesign for Skywatch sometime in February or March. So we do also have a couple other things that I'm going to be showing you guys. These are not related to the treasure track. So the first one, uh, the spine for Mama Star got updated in the CDN. It's now called Imani Star. And um, just to clear things up, this was added a couple weeks ago. So this was or shouldn't have anything to do with the treasure track, which um, those assets were added yesterday. Milky Way's spine also got updated. It now looks like this. I'm pretty sure it has been updated for a while, but it finally got updated in the assets um, a couple weeks ago, along with Amani Star. This one was also a couple of weeks ago. Um, this one is UI Unified Store. So when you go to Prodigy and you go to this, this is the Unified Store. So at the moment, we only have these five shops, but in the future, we could be seeing the one shop being added, um, the Pet Store, the 
potions. And then I'm not really sure what this one is. Um, it looks like pet slots, but slots I'm pretty sure have been removed from the game. So not really sure what this one is supposed to be now. Maybe it could be like pets or something. The final one I think is pretty interesting. This is in the um, data for Prodigy. So this stuff has to do with charged levels. I'm pretty sure like the supercharged, like getting to level 150 and stuff. So it says level up to X, level up to blank level. So that would be like level up to level 126 or whatever. Um, not sure why it says almost done. That probably has to do with charged levels. Then it says max charge in level increase, max charge level increase. So that's when you like claim your extra level. Max charged level increase male body. So this is going to be in the male. This is going to be the header. And then here we have the body for it. It says thanks for another month of membership. You can now reach the charged level of 100 and blank. So from what it sounds like, you are going to need membership to get a supercharge. Um, here it does say charge level upgrade banner. Upgrade your membership and keep your charge for blank. Um, I'm not really sure how the supercharge works. None of my accounts have it. Um, I don't really know if it's supposed to be for if you have uh, ultra membership. Because uh, I've only had plus membership and neither of my accounts have got it. So if you do have ultra membership or plus membership, let me know if you have it because I don't really know. And then we, this pet merge stuff is for a different video that I will be talking about tomorrow. Um, then we have contextual prompt charge level title, keep your charge, contextual prompt, get in with, get in with, not sure what that is. Um, charge levels decay immunity reminder 30 days of keeping any charge levels you have earned starts now play often or you will lose your charge so they are gonna make it up to 30 days if you have a super charge I guess um, charge level decay immunity title ultra charge level bonus so this is what makes me think that the super charge levels are only for ultra members but you guys need to tell me because I have no idea. Um, class code, duplicate code, um, that's not important. Charge level decay, immunity, immunity notification title, charge level kept. Any charge levels you have earned will be kept for blank more days. Play often or you will lose your charge. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys or if you have the supercharge or not, and what type of membership you have, because I don't know what type of membership you need for it. And yeah, that is all the stuff we have to look at today. I will be talking about the pet merge thing tomorrow, so make sure to check in tomorrow for that. Anyways, that's going to go ahead and end up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and 